Keeping chickens is amazing. And once you've set up the coop, you've set up a run, or if you're free ranging your chickens, and you've started to set up different automations to help with feeding and watering, it can really be seamless and not take up too much time from your day to actually raise chickens. And Honestly, they're great to just walk out and see. But some of the biggest issues come with once you've set all of that up and making sure that they're safe from predators. And let me tell you, predators are going to come in in all different ways. They're going to dig in underneath the coop or inside of the run. They're gonna come in from the sky and they're gonna climb or open doors. And I have heard some crazy horror stories. Now our coop, we luckily have Knock on wood. <laughs> Not had any issues with yet, but we've done a lot of things to make sure that our coop and run are protected. And today we're going over the top five ways that you can start to protect your chickens. Now, let me preface this with the fact that there are some sly foxes, some really smart raccoons, and some hungry coyotes out there that are gonna try really hard to get into your coop and run. So these might not be 100% foolproof, but as much as you can do to prevent this, the better off you and your chickens will be. Backing up from the coop a little bit because our rooster Roger is being overly protective over there, but, I'm Danielle of the Swadaro Farm and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every week on starting your own homestead or small farm so that you can live a more self-sustainable lifestyle. And the first way that you can predator-proof your chicken habitat is going to be creating a coop and run that is safe from predators. Now, it is gonna be an additional cost and some time invested into this to really build this out and make sure that animals, whether they're flying in, digging, or climbing in, aren't going to be able to actually get inside, but it is well worth the investment. If you know actually raising chickens to the stage of laying eggs can be quite strenuous and take a lot of time and effort. So making sure that you can get there and actually keep your chickens and just making sure that you're saving their lives and keeping them safe is really important. And you can make small changes like adding an automatic door that can open and close when the sun rises and shuts or a little bit after so that they are able to go in and out and have an environment that is safe for them. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is actually creating a safe space for your chickens to go in at night. Now, some of your animals that are going to be predators will attack during the day, but at night you're gonna find that's where a majority of them are going to come. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your chickens can go into a safe space that they can sleep in, especially because maybe their rooster that is going to make them aware of any of their surroundings will be able to clock and make noises, but they do sleep as well with the hens and you want to make sure that they really do have that space that they can feel safe and that is confined for them as well. For any good chicken coop there will probably be windows that can let in ventilation. On those windows you will want to make sure to have half inch hardware to protect the windows and this way during the day when you open up those windows there is that additional protection on the door um, like we have here and then at night you will want to make sure to actually close this up so we do close up our barn on all of the faces as well and this way there's some additional protection so just in case there is a really hungry raccoon I have heard horror stories that they can rip through any of this and this way there's some additional protection there to keep them extra safe at night after you secure any of your windows or doors you want to make sure to also think about the base of your chicken coop now our chicken coop actually goes straight to the floor and what we've done here is underneath the ground we actually have uh, hardware cloth on the bottom then we have layers of cattle mats and then we have rocks and mulch on top so we have a really strong base that predators aren't going to be able to actually climb in underneath now if you do have a wooden coop you will want to make sure that the bottom is elevated from the ground and this way 
the wood that is most likely going to decay at some point isn't straight on the bottom of the ground and you don't know that it's happening but it is raised here additionally if you are able to line the ground like we have that's going to be really great at securing the ground but if not you will want to make sure to actually have a skirt that comes off after the ground this way any animals that are digging in won't be able to actually penetrate into the coop the fifth way that you can start to predator proof your coop and run is going to be actually making sure that you keep the food for your chickens safe as well and there are a few different ways that you can do this the first way is using a container that's historically seen at farms one of these big type of aluminum trash cans making sure that the lid of your can is secured on if those containers are too heavy like they are for me then don't worry you can use something like a home depot bin and just make sure that the lids are on securely this way any animals that do come in won't be able to open them and if you can put them inside of the coop we have them inside of our barn and this creates an additional layer this way you aren't attracting animals over because of their food and you're not getting any surprises like mice or rats inside of their food and i would also keep any of the food that you are feeding your chickens inside of their coop instead of outdoors in the run this way all of their foods in one area and again you don't have any mice or rats coming into your coop because of the food if you've made it this far in a video then you deserve a bonus and this one is really great and if you're really having an issue with your chickens this can be a game changer and that is getting a guard dog or guard animal now a lot of people believe that if they get a rooster that is going to help protect their flock and let me tell you our rooster roger he's done a great job at helping reduce the amount of predators and if there is any at least alerting us so that we can go outside and help intervene but our dogs have also been a great addition and if you are really having an issue then you might want to get a dog that specifically helps for guarding your flock and something like a great Pyrenees or a larger dog that is actually known to be there for a guard dog and will be able to be a fully outside dog animal. Cars are just our indoor animals but they do help <laughs> and spreading their scent around is great also we have dogs but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that your coop is safe and we'll see you guys again next time there are some other videos on chickens that you'll definitely want to check out over here and see you next time we're gonna say goodbye, say bye, -bye.